Good morning, guys. What's up? Welcome back. I'm about to go ahead and get my day started. I have a lot of errands to run, but before I get started, I did want to go ahead and introduce you guys to today's sponsor. So actually, today our sponsor is Analemma, and this is their product that I have in my hand. I know you guys are probably like, what is this? What does it do? What's up with the water? All of that. So of course, I'm going to explain all of that to you. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox the Analemma and explain to you what it is. When you unbox it, it comes with this little pamphlet that also explains to you what it is and what it does. And it's just a very cute and quaint product package, packaged like so. And this is actually not the Analemma. It's actually inside of this. This is protecting it because I know you guys are still like, what in the world is going on? This is actually the Analemma. So what this product actually does is it is a wand and inside of this wand is a liquid that is called actually if you guys can see like the bubbles to let you know that there is a liquid in there. Um, so the liquid that's inside this is actually called the mother water and it's a full spectrum coherent water that was created through a year long procedure that utilizes multiple sources of energy to actually change the physical configuration of water molecules that are in this glass, so like regular water. What the analemma actually does is changes regular water, which is this, into its coherent state. And that allows it to have multiple um, health benefits that I'm about to tell you about now. And after I tell you about the benefits, I will demonstrate um, me actually using the analemma into this water. So there are three main scientifically proven benefits of analemma water. And all scientific studies they conducted are double blind placebo controlled. One being that it promotes the production of ATP and ATP is the primary source of energy that's found in our body. So basically it's gonna give you more energy. It also improves your microbiome quality, which is basically your gut health. So analemma water is actually good for your gut health, just like how we would take uh, green juice and the powders and all of that. This would be a more natural way to approach gut health being that is literally just water that you're drinking so also going back to the atp production which is for energy this would be the most natural boost of energy you can have because it's literally just water it didn't change the fact that it's just water it's also good for promoting anti-inflammatory functions of your immune system so just to keep everything from being inflamed from the different type of foods that we eat and the different type of stresses that we put on our body and you could use this water to improve soil fertility as well as plant vitality so if you had it like like in a regular cup and you decided to water your plants after you treat it with the analemma wand of course then it would be great for the soil overall life of your plants if you know a plant mom or a plant dad or into that and also it's been scientifically proven that drinking analemma water for as little as just three months can cause up to 12 years of biological age reversals they have been featured in times usa today as well as men's journal so I'm actually now going to demonstrate to you guys how to use the analemma water. So you take it out of this vial that I absolutely love. I think it's crafted perfectly. It has like some weight to it. It's really cool. And it protects this vial that you can see is very delicate. This is glass and the analemma water is inside of here. You're going to immerse it into your jar, your cup, whatever. I'm using the mason jar and you're going to stir. Like the length of the time that you stir is depending on how much water you have. So if you have 35 ounces, you wanna make sure that you're stirring for at least one minute, which I obviously don't have 35 ounces. I'm just being extra. And then you're gonna take it out. I'm gonna wipe this down with a paper towel and then place it back in the vial just to make sure that you're keeping it like pure and you're not touching it because it does go into your water that you'll be drinking. And just in case you were wondering, this can be cleaned with alcohol solution or like a soap that's like bio type soap like you would use on piercings. Nothing too harsh. And now you have your water. Okay, so this is the water that just came out of the refrigerator. It's tap water. Um, and the lemon actually changes the taste of your water. It improves it. So let's go ahead and give it a try. The water is really weird because like you just see like the water that's in that little vial but it actually does improve the taste of the water like this does taste like it's purified versus it's literally just coming out of a tap 
it is easily just just throwing your purse and carry around with you so you can move around with it um because i know that in the house we typically have our own filters or we have bottled water so if you just wanted to up the water that you're going to get out and about all of the benefits of actually using this wand would be great i really like the design and the quality of this product and how it changed like the taste of my water because i'm real funny about drinking water anyway so anything that's going to improve the actual quality of water is a win-win for me so i will definitely have a link in the description box so you guys can check this out for yourself and if you are interested make sure you use my code mia snow and you can save 10 percent on your order its main ingredient can be found in your medicine cabinet and not only is it highly addictive it can be deadly scissor hip-hop's potent prescription Y'all, we starting off the vlog choosing chaos. We starting off the vlog choosing chaos. Look, I definitely underestimated how much a cup of egg whites was. Oh my God, I was so proud too. So my breakfast, y'all, was, what was it, like 50 grams of protein. Big snow. She hit that 125 on the bench today. <laughs> I was bad as fuck at school. Now I'm trying to die to see me. <laughs> y'all, I did not realize. <laughs> That a whole fucking cup of egg whites. Like I put, I just had my cup and then I measured it y'all cause I'm just trying to get my protein right. But I used like the whole cup. Do y'all see this? That is a disgusting amount of eggs. And I was literally about to come on the camera and be like the worst part of coming from the gym so late. It's one o'clock. I got to the gym at 11. I had to stop at the store to get egg whites. Blah, blah, blah. I was gonna get on here and say the worst part is you literally be starving by the time you get home, but no. <laughs> Girl, I'm full just by looking at the egg whites. Like, I'm I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm slick full by looking at these egg whites. And then y'all know what's even more disgusting is I'm about to try to throw a slice of cheese on it. These, this, cause I'm making like a sandwich, y'all know what I do. But this damn egg patty is so damn thick, baby. There is this. Can't even talk. This egg patty is so god darn dense. Y'all, this is disgusting. That is a disgusting amount of eggs. Okay, let's not do that. And I wanted to eat the cup. Why? Because it was like 23 grams of protein. And I was like, yo, run it up. Half a cup. And that still might be too much at this point. That's half a cup. Y'all, if I can eat this on this sandwich, you really big snow for real. Like, don't play with her. But I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this patty. And I'm, I'm already full. Like, I mean, y'all, look at look at this. Look how we feel. Look, this is a mess. Look at it. Falling apart. I, it's egg left in the skillet. Y'all gonna have to stay. That little bit ain't gonna look, baby. I can't. Look at this. I don't think y'all understand how thick, 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 thick. I'm getting nervous trying to eat. I'm getting nervous. I'm nervous thinking about trying to eat this. I'm not even holding y'all. I'm not even gonna play. Like, this, this, I'm nervous. Y'all, I am depressed. I and mean, I just remembered I forgot to put my Kinder seasoning on it. So, do y'all know what egg whites taste like? <laughs> and I forgot to season them. 
and there's so much of them they're just the most blended look at this this is like i can't even get this egg out of my mouth hold on see egg whites do well with other stuff so i had that piece of egg in my mouth i needed some bread and some meat to help me get it down but this is like what's that sandwich at um wendy's the baconator the eggonator because this is huge y'all think i can eat it see like even with bread it's okay like you bro egg whites have to have you cannot just eat egg whites that's why i was worried because you can't you have to eat them with something because they they just they taste so bland but like even with some bread there's no meat in this little piece you just can't eat them by themselves and i forgot to season them i am suffering <sighs> <laughs> y'all it's the last bite i'm so full jesus christ how'd i eat it oh my god <laughs> i told myself if i could eat 50 grams of protein per meal i can do my three meals a day we're great that's 150 I'm really only trying to hit like 130, but 150 is great. I'll take it. Y'all, protein is the most satiating macronutrient. When I tell y'all my stomach is full. I did it. I am number one. Y'all, look at this. <sighs> Okay, y'all. Mm, we got stuff to do today. Y'all, the fatigue. The fatigue. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I caught myself trying to rest a little bit before I had to go run my errands. The fatigue. Listen, I'm on my way to go drop off packages, y'all. Ooh, carrying this big, fat ass bag. Took everything out of me, y'all. It's almost 30 packages in there, and I did not have a good time. And all I could think, don't you pull your A, bro. Don't make me mad now. Uh, all I could think about was, but this is literally, like, you should feel like this is a bittersweet moment. Because this is, I don't think it's the last time. Because I do have some inventory left. Not a lot. But I have enough till I see maybe one or two more times. But when I tell y'all, I'm telling y'all first. Because I'm going to wait till this video go up, right? It's discounted like get it out of here get it out i need it gone i want it to be over i just want it to be over hey hey i just want it to be over i'm tired of the manual labor that i that i had to pack orders yesterday y'all it took a, like don't let me say hours this is like an hour or so but it was also like late at night well now y'all know i can't like function after like what six o'clock work wise anyway i really want to start working on my guy and i was supposed to do that yesterday then i had to remember that i had to pack the dog on orders so i was like okay as usual you have a lot going on and that really would be causing all the mental fatigue and you just got a lot going on i'm really trying to simplify what i have going on i want to work smarter not harder <laughs> So, um, that's another reason why I didn't even say this, but yeah, I'm testing out like a daily vlog type thing. This is going to be a daily vlog. We vlogging today, that is. But I know y'all like my longer vlogs, so I'm like, can I run my mouth for an hour in one day? <laughs> so, um, I'm vlogging tomorrow too. I don't know if tomorrow will be a daily vlog. There might be two vlogs, but long story short, keep it real, short. What I'm trying to do, I need to park, I need to park closer. Yeah, I'm not doing this because I need to park closer because this damn bag is heavy. Um, what I'm trying to do is get to a Monday, Wednesday, Friday split. I say that, but then I'm also supposed to be uploading on that second channel and I want to, I do. But I, I feel like I want to get my Monday, Wednesday, Friday split down. And why I feel like this wouldn't be like the worst possible thing is because, um, like, y'all know, like, let's say I bench today, right? We got to talk about that. I bench today and I would just, y'all know how I show y'all like a clip of something. I would do that and then I'll be like, you know what? If you want the rest of this workout, because I'll actually record the full workout. I just want to put it here. If you want the rest of this workout, you got to go to think like me. I'll go to work out. 
I'm obviously in a good mood today because I'm doing the most. Anyway, so before I take all the little energy that I have left and muster it up to get this bag out of the car, y'all see it? Look, that bag full of, it's heavy. Anyway, oh, if y'all didn't read my hoodie, rule number one, stay out your feelings because ain't no money in there. Ain't no money in there. Oh, okay. Um, I went to the gym today. This new gym that I've been going to, y'all. Ooh, I got I got a couple of stories. It is like very lit socially. So when I was going to LA Fitness, I had like a few people I would see, but whatever. Um, it was mostly older people or like gay men. No shade, no team. Then I would go to the crunch in Shambly, and it's Shambly, if you know you know. So this crunch that I'm going to that's like sleek Decatur Tucker area, first of all. First of all, think about the demographics of Decatur. And second of all, it's the biggest crunch like in like the Metro Atlanta area, basically. The newest one too, y'all, it is lit. Every time I go up in there, it's a, it's a social thing. So let me tell y'all about y'all little snowflakes. One of y'all was being fast and hot in the tail. And like screenshotted of it of me like at the gym and sent it to me on Instagram like girl did you see that guy on the phone? He's fine. Is he fine in real life? And I knew exactly who she was talking about. I said, Oh yeah, that's so and so. Like we exchanged numbers. And she was like, girl, and I was like, eh, cause baby, he he is really I hate to say this, y'all, but the guy that she talking about, he the type of dude, wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Like that's all he he is beautiful. He is six eight, y'all, and like two hundred and forty pounds. Chef's kiss. He ain't worth a dime. He's not worth a dime. Like, I, I'll be cool with him. Like, he want to record again. So if y'all see him later, you know, I, I put y'all on game. He cool. But y'all know I'm, like, really trying to date with, like, intention and purpose. That ain't that. I know that. That ain't that. I don't even know his age. He look like he around my age. I don't think he's much younger than me. But I'm telling you now, that ain't that. He's not that. He's not that type of material. I feel bad for saying this about him. Because, like, would you want somebody to say it about you? <laughs> he know what he be doing. Anyway, that, right? And, like, today. So, I saw that guy today. His friend. There's this other girl I see. And I be like, hey, what's up? I see one of y'all. And ran up to him. He was like, oh, my God. Hey, it's Mia. Nice to see you. I wish I would ask you your name. Girl, if it's you... What's up? Um, I was preoccupied because I ran into my barber at the gym. See what I mean? It, this is a little cl it's the club. It's lit. I ran into my barber at the gym. Um, he walked up on me and I was like, and my barber, he's also into bodybuilding and so like he's getting ready to compete in June. So he got his camera, his trap. I like, what's up? What's up? What you doing? So we was talking and then that's when I decided, you know, I was gonna go, y'all. Y'all see me do the one fifteen for the PR, baby. I was about to jump from 115 straight to the 135 like I lost my mind and then I was like sit down somewhere no we finna do 10s on each side would not make it 125 and so my barber was like you want me to spot you I was like yes yeah, cool this is great this is perfect this works out come spot you girl so he did and I did 125 the first time I did it he was like that was all you but you know like somebody there I felt like he kind of helped me a little bit so I was like, mm. he said, okay, well, let's wait five minutes and try again. And the second time I did it, I know that I did it on my own strength. So I was like, yes, new PR, 125, let's go. Didn't I sleep? Just tell y'all in the last vlog, I was trying to hit that 135. Baby, we is 10 pounds away from 135. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Because when it comes to the strength, she going to get it every time. Bitch, know what's up. <laughs> y'all, I'm excited, though, because, like, even though the 125 was sloppy and it was one, I did it. I'm going to work my way so next time I go to the gym and do a bench, I'm going to try to do that 125 for a two. I'm, I'm going to try. And I might need to go to 130 before I go to 135 and use the 2.5 pound plates because I'm not trying to play myself. I don't want to fail. I know failing is not bad. Let me just put that out there. Failing is not bad because you don't know if you can do it unless you try and then you might fail. But I ain't trying to go out like that. Damn, I don't feel like getting these bags. The deed is done. Okay, now to the fun stuff. Oh, I want to go to Starbucks. I do. 
I could. The only reason I'm saying I could is because I don't see myself eating lunch for real. But I'm not going to go to Starbucks because we did that. No, we're not going to do it. I'll do it this weekend because they do have the lavender um, iced chai instead of the matcha. Which I'm sure you could have asked for it, like whatever, but they actually sent out an email like where they had it and was like a special online exclusive, whatever, girl. Anyway, we're not gonna go though. We're gonna go to Sam's in Target. Cause I need some pickups like razors. Remember I was getting on here mad about the razors? Where I wanna go first? Probably Target. I'm really only going to Sam's to see if I can find um what am I looking for? Um, my core power in bulk, cause I'm tired of going to Publix and getting two for seven. And then what else am I looking for? Pretty much like bulk snacks. Do I want to get bulk snacks right now? Now I'm trying to talk myself out of it. I'm trying to see, cause certain stuff, like my protein shakes, I need that in bulk. Um, what else could I get in bulk? Literally nothing, I'm making up stuff. I'm really going to look for the protein. It was something else, but now I can't remember. Cause I was gonna say my protein, like I was gonna get like some salmon and stuff. Now that I got released from the Publix bourbon salmon for eight dollars a damn piece, I was gonna get like a whole thing of salmon. But I got so much meat in my house right now that I don't. Unless I'm just, I really want salmon and like I'm craving salmon. I'm not gonna buy none. Cause like I ate some of the just meats pork yesterday, and it was okay. Um, now I understood why it was high in protein. And I was shocked. Cause you know we always look at like pork as beef y'all just realized that my white balance or my exposure was off and I was pissed about it it's not even off that much okay anyway I realized how the pork was able to be so high in protein it's not a fatty cut of pork all cuts of pork aren't made equal just like all cuts of steak aren't made equal, or beef no steak cuz like ribeye it's mm, fattier than let's say T-bone and I like fatty steaks that's also why I like that little cheap cut called chuck eye is real fatty and the fattier I feel like it's the cheaper usually but I like fatty meat but anyway when the pork is fattier it also decreases the protein I'm not sure if it's it should be like that for every other piece I think it is because like think about chicken breast it's less fattier than chicken thigh and chicken thigh has less protein but not by much anyway the cut of pork that they use is a lean cut which is good but for my mouth is it <laughs> so it was okay it wasn't what I expected but it was fine um so oh actually tonight see we're not gonna eat even though I have the just meats I still have the polo asada in the fridge. I have the sweet and spicy pork in the fridge. This is what I mean by I got so much meat. We can't eat none of that because I was waiting to film for y'all. Cause don't y'all remember when I was looking for that Kevin's coconut, um, the coconut cream or whatever, the coconut chicken. And I couldn't find it and I was looking for it. I said, oh, this must be good. Cause I went to like two, three different stores and couldn't find it. So when I found it, I grabbed it. And I was like, okay, well I gotta eat it for the vlog. Let the vlog see it, do it for the vlog. So let y'all know what it's hitting on. So we can't even have no just meats for dinner cause we having that with some coconut rice. However, what we gonna have for lunch? I'm not hungry and it's three o'clock, but I just ate 50 grams of protein, so I guess that's why I was like, I mean, you mind and win. Go to uh, Starbucks. But I want to try this um, Caesar salad recipe that I got from Shari on TikTok, and I am just probably not today, so it won't be in this vlog. But tomorrow, so it'll be in the next vlog. Um, so today, I don't know what I'm gonna do for my in between snack. I actually probably would just have a protein shake. So that's why I'm going to Sam's for it because obviously nothing else. I'm going to Target for razors, some more little self care stuff. I took a picture of you on these bones. I need floss. Um, something else. I know that I wanted to. So, Sam's Club last time I went had the Premier Protein Salted Caramel Shakes and I heard they was good. Somebody in my Instagram group was like, this the one. Y'all know I'm a fair life girl, but I wanted to try it. But you know, at Sam's, they don't have nothing singular. They want to sell you the 12 pack for a thousand dollars. So I'm like, okay, usually I can find Premier Protein, like the single ones easily at this uh, Target. So hopefully I can find one and grab it and taste. That's, that's what I'm really hoping. Otherwise, we just SOL because I'm not buying no damn 12 pack of some protein that I ain't never tried. Like, Sam's, who do you think you are? And then you know what? I know they be having the people out with the little samples. Y'all ain't never sampling no protein shakes. I've never once seen you sample a protein shake. But you gonna sample some cakes and cookies and pies, though. Oh, uh, are these good? Oh, no, it's a plant-based. I don't trust it. 
Oh my gosh, there's a Barbie. That's cute. That is cute, but we ain't know that this we true to this. This is the one I had at my old apartment and we left the little round thing. That, that thing right there. The magnetic bag. We're not gonna over consume, we're not gonna over consume. We're not going to over consume. I want it so bad, it's so pretty. I left that whole little basket of stuff because I was unsatisfied. So I'm gonna go to another Target and I set myself up because I told you I wanted Starbucks new to Starbucks. In the Target, I totally forgot they have Starbucks and Target. And I am getting a little munchy now, so freak. Okay, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna hold it together. We can hold it together. We can do it. We can do it. What time is it? It's three nine. We can hold it. We can hold it. One more target. I'm not. If the target ain't targeting, let me not even say that because I literally had most of the stuff I wanted and needed. I'm just. Damn. It's dark. I'm just being extra at this point. And there's a Taco Bell right there. We can. We got it. We're not that hungry. We're not that hungry. It's okay. Okay, y'all, I went to the other Target. It was still less than seller. I did find some of the bottled Premier Protein, but not the one that I wanted. However, I'll show y'all what I got when I get home. I was this close to going to Chick-fil-A, but I was going to get a kale salad and grilled niggas, and I was like, no, we can make tacos um, with the just meat, sweet and spicy pork. And I just bought some Greek yogurt for sour cream. All right, um, but I also realized that I wanted Starbucks because I was thirsty as hell. So I was like, let me get this smart water. We are making awesome choices. And it's the cucumber lime smart water, so it's pretty good. Um, Y'all, I did get like a slick little treat. If I can find it. So I was talking to one of the girls in my Instagram group and I had realized that I have never had a Cadbury um, cream egg. The kind that's like got the egg cream in it. And I wanted to try it. And this damn egg, will y'all believe this was a dollar and 50 cent? Now I haven't bought a candy bar in a long time, but I remember when candy bars was like less than a dollar. Are they not less than a dollar? Because why is this one little egg a dollar and fifty cent? You know, I thought the the cream was gonna be kind of like salty, but it's like nougat. I am not impressed. And it's a little nasty. Like, it's supposedly like real egg. This is why I thought it was gonna be salty. It's way too sweet. Mm mm. It just tastes like sweet chocolate. I don't see the hype. If you had a crabberry egg, let me know in the comments what you think about it because honestly, that egg part don't taste like that thing. <laughs> it is really sweet. Now look, did this have protein in it? Cause it was egg white. <laughs> Look at me going to go look it up. 1.2 grams of protein. Y'all, I know that dog on egg was not. I know you lying. Almost 200 calories. Y'all could have kept that. I'd rather have had some cookies or something. That was not a good experience. Mind you, it wasn't like the most nasty thing ever, but. I thought it was something special about the eggs. It literally just tastes like some damn chocolate. Some really sweet chocolate. Not even, not even like my favorite chocolate is like the Lint, L-I-N-D-T, them little Lint balls. Not even like upper echelon chocolate, but the basic chocolate dollar store chocolate. I would've rather had a Twix. I would've rather had a Kit Kat. No. 
Let me tell y'all how pissed off at Sam's Club I am. So y'all know I went for my core power um, Fair Life protein shakes. They didn't have any. They did. They had the 42 gram Elite chocolate. The same, you know how they got the the uh, ones I like in the white bottle, the, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's the ones I've been looking for, y'all already know forever, the Fair Life in the white bottle. They have chocolate, and I'm like, okay, that's cool, but I don't really want to buy a bulk of chocolate. So that 42 grams Elite is in chocolate. That didn't mean what I was looking for. I was looking for the regular core power that come in like vanilla, the strawberry banana, and chocolate, but I was more so looking for the strawberry banana, or I would've took vanilla. They did not have it. They had the doggone, like I told y'all, Premier Protein in the Salted Caramel Popcorn, which I want to try. I do. But I don't want to buy 12 of them for $25. And I don't absolutely love them. And they're amazing. So I went to the depths of hell. Meaning Walmart. <laughs> to see if they had some of the like singular bottles. They did not. Where are y'all finding the singular bottle? Because somebody had a singular bottle. But guess what? I don't even care no more. I think I'm either going to go to Sam's again and just buy them. I asked him about the return policy, but the guy asked, of course, he ain't know nothing. Or I'm going to get them off Amazon. And I know Amazon ain't going to trip. I just, you know what's crazy? I don't think it's going to be terrible. So I could drink them. But I do I want to spend $25 for something I kind of like? No. I want to spend $25 for the doggo strawberry banana, which I love. Or if they want to bring back the white bottle vanilla, that would be great too. But anyway, Sam didn't have my bag. They didn't have that. So I got the Clio mini. Oh, no, nah, I done dropped some in the sink and one got wet. And I don't care. I grabbed these uh, Clio mini bars. These are so good. This is my crumble cookie, okay? They are 24, the cherry raz and raspberry. The cherry one... I don't even like dark chocolate, but this is so good. That's how good it is that I'm able to eat it even though it's dark chocolate. Um, these are the little ones, the minis. So they're only 60 calories like per bar and four grams of protein. This is a cute little, not even a snack. This is, oh, I want something sweet. Let me grab something. Perfection. And if you don't want to get like, you don't have to do that. They sell them in Publix in like the smaller packs, but they don't have those specific flavors. Those flavors was new. I went ahead and got 24 packs of the um the cage free organic brown eggs. Cause why not? I didn't want to waste the trips to Sam's. And y'all will be so proud of me. Ben's original ready rice, but I got six pouches. Cause I'm tired of going to buy rice every other day. All right, so that's what I got from Sam's. Um, from Target, I got this mesh wrap. I'm trying to find something to keep my hair. I, I, I ain't trying to look good, like, you know, laid. But I would like to look okay. So I'm trying to find something to do with my hair when I go to the gym. We're going to try that. Um, I needed some floss. So I got floss. This is just so unexciting and then i needed fiber gummies because yeah y'all i'm not eating enough veggies and one of y'all was like what's up with the oxy greens and i was like i be forgetting i have those sure do i should make some oxy greens um i just really do be forgetting like the only supplement that i can just sit here and tell y'all that i absolutely take i ain't gonna even say every day because i only take it when i go to the gym which you supposed to take it every day but that's my oxy straight and that's because it's like that stack habit of this is something that you do before you go to the gym. I need to make a stack habit of like, oh, this is something that you do with breakfast and like let it be oxy greens. But you know you have to do it for a while before it sticks and like become habit, which is fine. But y'all, it's so hard for me to um create new habits. I don't know why. This dog wants to open. And I say that because... Excuse me, I'm looking for something to poke a hole in this. I say that because um, it took me forever to remember to start taking my blood pressure pills. And when I say forever, like y'all, this is probably the first time I've taken them like every single day in like five, maybe six days, maybe a week. I put them right there like by my pantry so I see them. Um, because I'm supposed to take them at night. But really what I did, they shouldn't even be there. They should be in the bathroom. Because what I did was I started saying, okay, you remember to take that birth control every night. So just take it all together. And that's how I've been remembering. 
So still like, it's hard for me to remember and stack all my habits if that makes sense. Fiber gummies because baby, if it got it in a gummy form, I want it. Cause I'm eating candy. That's the only way I'm gonna eat my supplements if they're in gummy form, I ain't gonna hold you. And then I got some razors finally, thank God. We could stick it in the shower and I already have refills for this. It's the Athena Club. And then somebody will be happy. We got some more gravy bones. And I'm gonna throw these at his mouth because his breath stank. So these are the Greenies Minty. Let me see what they smell like. I'm th as soon as we come back from this walk, I'm about to throw this at your throat. At your throat. Oh my God. Oh my God. They better smell minty fresh like this damn floss. And why can I not get it open? I don't want to mess up the, um, y'all know the, um, what's it called? The Ziploc part, but I guess I didn't pull it deep enough. I just want them to smell minty. Because I'm telling y'all, that breath was hot. Whoa, like they really don't want to get open. Uh-uh, I'm about to cut them open, forget it. You want to play crazy, then we can play crazy. I don't know why this is like that. Yeah, I bet you open now. They smell like damn oxy green. They kind of smell like matcha. Huh. I kind of hate that I can't put all my eggs in my tray. Because fun fact though, I don't know why. I think I told y'all this before. This tray actually holds... 14 eggs. It's weird. Because if it's not 12, the next logical number would be 18. Because they come from like 12, 18. I don't understand why 14, but all right. So we're going to do 14 eggs and put the rest somewhere, I guess. <gasps> Woo! Lord, I already dropped the egg this morning. Come on. Crack, I had two eggs left, y'all, and dropped one, and I was so pissed because then I only was able to eat one egg instead of two. Tragic. All right. All right, I have no idea where I'm about to put these. It's going to be in the, oh, I can just tuck it down here, All right, I need to eat, I'm hungry. So I'm going to warm up some of this sweet and spicy pork and make tacos with it. Um, if I can find the little sauce that I use. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, let's throw one of these mints. It says spanking bread. come on. Young, sit down. Yes, and you better eat it because your breath, your breath. I don't want to hear about you don't like it. His name Yum, he like everything. Okay, y'all, so these are my little uh, sweet and spicy pork tacos. I took some Greek uh, yogurt as for sour cream and put some um, Kinder's wood fire garlic in here. Y'all, this ain't nothing, this is 35 grams. Oh, this is 35 calories. And I'm sad because I wanted to get 100 calories of it was like 16 grams of protein. But as y'all can see, this is more than enough. It's too much damn sour cream. You didn't need this much. But I was trying to, you know, get that protein up. <laughs> but these little bitty tacos, like, yeah, this is a lot. Um, it's good though. Oh my God. Pro tip, take some uh, Greek yogurt show y'all some regular Greek yogurt right and if you put seasoning in it any season you want like depending on the season you use the seasoning you use it tastes like a spread of some sort and it is so good so like because you know Greek yogurt is pretty bland um it tastes like sour cream I feel like that's all that dang on cilantro but um 
if you put the little seasoning in it, it gives it like a kick. So these are my tacos for my lunch at damn six o'clock. That's wild. I have some work to do. Um, I gotta check in on my training client. So I was like, let me go ahead and eat. Um, and let me go ahead and taste taste these for you. But I already know, bless you. Bro, get you some just meats. I'm not playing. Just meats about to change my life, y'all. I am tracking my protein, right? I'm at 89 grams of protein already. I know that's not a lot, but for me, and I'm supposed to be eating protein, I'm at not only am I at 89 grams of protein, I haven't even hit a thousand calories today. I'm not too concerned about my calories, but let me tell y'all what happened yesterday. Yesterday, I ate 137 grams of protein with under 1,500 calories. How? Because y'all know I like convenient food, like make it quick, blah, blah, blah. Having that protein ready to go, I just load it up for every meal. So how I made tacos, or I could eat some with rice. What did I do yesterday while I'm looking? Uh, breakfast didn't go that well, cause yeah, I was piecing stuff together. I ain't had no egg whites. But for lunch, I had some of the polo asada, just meats. It looked like another taco, yeah. With, uh, so I had a taco with some sweet potato chips, and I had some aqua collagen from EHP Labs. 20 grams of protein right there and then for dinner i had the sweet and spicy pork and rice so like i'm just loading every meal up with just meats and it's working okay it a hey, y'all better use that coal i think you can get like i think it was like eight pounds of meat for like 50 dollars with my coal and then the subscription that they have like 25 percent off and it's lit And I still haven't even touched anything from what y'all saw. I still have polo asada, and I still have sweet and spicy pork. So I'm still on the two that y'all see me take out the box and put in the fridge. It lasts like game changer. I don't know why I'm holding on to that bathtub. <laughs> like it's just, I'm like, no, nah, wait. I want to remember I told y'all I was supposed to be taking the bath, and I'm over here like, no, wait. It ain't a good time yet. And then one of y'all come in and they said, I don't. I don't hold on to stuff or whatever because you, I don't know. Basically, she was trying to say like, girl, I hate to say this because this is real negative, but you holding on to that bathtub trying to save it for like a special occasion and you might not be here in two days. You, that's what she was getting at and I get it. Like, why won't I take a bath in that tub? Why am I trying to make it like this grand thing? I don't know, but I was like, if I don't get in the tub, and honestly, y'all, when I went to Sam's, and, um, you know, Sam's has those, I wanted to get some, but I was like, no, stop trying to reward yourself with food. The little charcuterie plates, like y'all know, it come with the little crackers and the cheese and the meat. And they even had some Ritz ones that was like crackers and little cheese. And I know it's not the worst thing because like the Ritz ones, it was like under 200 calories. But when I get in the tub, it's something about the tub, wine, and like charcuterie. And I, is it gross to eat in the tub? Like, is it gross to eat in the bathroom? Because I know some people have like feel some type of way about that. But I used to take my iPad and like turn on a YouTube video and sit in the tub and like have um, wine and like a charcuterie plate on like my little... Y'all know my little black, um, y'all know my little shelf thing. And I was like, bro, you don't need the charcuterie plate in the tub. It's fine. And I know I'm not gonna have the wine because I already replaced my wine with my olive pop, which is fine. But why am I holding on to this tub? I need to sit in it and soak because I sleep be sore. But I don't know, I just might have a real good shower tonight. I still have some of those. Chelsea bought me some, well, it was in the gift, um, the gift bags at the vision board party. Them damn bath and body, y'all know the steamers. Cause I think I have some of my own that's old as heck. But I had, I was getting some off Amazon, but I have some steamers anyway. Cause the ones that she got me, cause this was specifically the end of January. Y'all know I moved like middle of February. I was specifically like, nope, I'm not gonna open these. These come to an apartment, I'm gonna save them. I'm one of those people that be trying to save stuff. Y'all hear the little pitter pattering? I am so tired, y'all. I just wanna, and like, what time is it? It's 7.05. So when I say I don't wanna go to bed, but this is about time that you know I'm winding down. Like, I could just sit and scroll, I could read, 
I just don't want to do no work. But here we is because what is this? I know I need to check in with this girl. Oh, I do have messages from her. Yay, it just didn't come. Oh, baby sent videos. She not about to play with you. She not about to play. Hold on. You have inspired me. Like I said, her career goddess, um, goddess inspired, inspired me. Um, on my message to you, just keep your head up. We are here. We're supporting you. The people who signed up, we believe in your word. We're not trying, like you said on your video that I'm watching right now. Oh, geez, hold on. Oh my God. I have your vlog going right now on YouTube. It's me on the TV. <laughs> I know, <I'm> okay. <laughs> but, um, y'all know what's crazy or oh, it's probably not crazy but just as much i was thinking about this last night and i'm glad like i came across her talking about this because i wanted to mention this and i was like damn you probably gonna forget as much as y'all say like oh you inspire me you're my inspiration do y'all know what inspires me do y'all know what my inspiration is y'all literally i the, even though i tell y'all sometimes i get overwhelmed with like comments and stuff my favorite thing to do is literally look at the youtube comments and respond to them especially like on instagram like i like interacting with y'all i love it i love it more so on Insta, uh, youtube because i feel like my youtube family know me way more than instagram because y'all actually get like my full-on personality and what I got going on is where Instagram is like little bits and pieces and sometimes it's really cute and y'all know I be on here like hell be sweated out and I don't know I just feel like YouTube is way more personal but I really love reading y'all comments I told y'all I read all the comments I try to respond to most of them or at least give them a heart but I love like interacting with y'all it is the best thing ever I should go live more this is gonna sound bad but the only reason I don't like to go live is because I don't like the way it looks like on my YouTube page like it's ugly it's not like a thumbnail and i know i can make a thumbnail but you know i really do like interacting with y'all and when y'all give me like if it wasn't for y'all i literally wouldn't do this i'm not one of those people that's like oh well you know i'm gonna do it regardless i really wouldn't because it wouldn't be no point which is why i feel some type of way about other social media um other social media platforms like tiktok i really don't feel any desire to like post on tiktok because nobody interacts with me on tiktok and i have like almost 15k but y'all know how tiktok shows you your for you page and the people that follow you don't really see your stuff too much i get a comment like here and there but i don't have enough engagement on tiktok to make me want to post and i literally want to post for engagement and not engagement like for my metrics or my numbers but engagement because like i really like talking to y'all so instagram is okay but youtube i really get most of like I guess it benefits me um, because I see all these comments and I was like in depth long comments with people telling me X, Y, and Z and I love that. And what I love more than that is when I see y'all in person. So if you are watching this and you do be at that crunch, holla at a pimp, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I swear to God, like my lingo is like late 90s, early 2000s and it's, it's like stuck there. It doesn't really evolve.
Yeah, I'll put on my little head wrap, my little mesh. I'm also gonna order some headbands like from Amazon. What do y'all think? I think this will help me. I think this might actually work. I'm still gonna get some headbands. They're like five dollars for like a set. Um, I don't know why TikTok felt the need to put on my for you page talking about the ring of five. <laughs> if you have kids, then I guess you know. I was like, what? Like, I have heard the concept. But to be honest with y'all, uh-uh, I don't even know what it was and what I need to know for. And I'm asking TikTok, why did you, if I could have left this off for I'll get my hair. Why did TikTok feel the need to let me know? Because, yeah, so apparently the ring of fire is um, when you begin like crowning, when you like giving birth. And so like the head is starting to come out and they use some word I don't know across the perineum or something. Basically the baby head about to come out like you can see the head. And it was like, especially like when the ears, and I was like, that's when you start to tear. And it was like, even people that don't tear, they um, they had like micro tears. So she was like, um, this was like, what a labor and delivery nurse talking. She was like, even moms that had like, they on their third baby. They would, you would think they don't tear, but they get what is called micro tears. Pretty much if you don't tear for real and like need stitches, everybody at least get what is called the micro tears and you can't see them to the human eye. But she was like, because it tears, like it hurts. Like it, it feels like, I mean, they call it a ring of fire and it burns. A what? And when I be hearing stuff like this, like we all know that labor ain't no hoe. Pretty much like we know this. But when I be hearing like certain details, and I know, you know what, what's crazy is what I'm talking about, cause I wouldn't know now, but I'm pretty sure what I'm talking about ain't even the worst of the worst. And to just think that we be sitting up and having babies for these men that ain't worth the dime. And before you be like, well, sometimes they don't, we don't have a baby for the men, we have a baby because we want a baby. Um, We also want support. Y'all don't, okay? <laughs> And I know y'all know I'm beating a dead horse because we talk about this all the time. And I'm sorry if you are a single mother, like baby, I commend you. And I know sometimes, like basically, I'm mostly talking about this man wasn't even buried with you. This man told you he didn't want no kids. Like you had a baby with that? After all you gotta go through? I'm not talking about people that had a husband, they got divorced or they died or whatever. Like that really sucks. It really does, and I'm so sorry. But I'm talking about you knew doggone well before you entered this situation. And I'm not even talking like to shame you or shade if, if this applies to anybody. But I'm saying, why would you do this for this man? Like me, you know what I always used to say? Cause y'all know how I feel about having kids. Like I don't have to have nothing. Even though I kind of sleek, I'm open to the little family idea, but I don't have to have nothing. If I was a man, most men, I don't think I know of a man that doesn't want kids that like that doesn't have none, don't want none. Men want kids. And I'm like, of course, because guess what? If I was a man, I would want kids. Cause I get this thing that's like part of me that came from me that I didn't have to bust my booty open for. Like you just get it. Now granted when he when the baby get here, like you gotta take care of it and all that. I'm that's fine. I feel like that's like and Please don't yell at me. I feel like it's like taking care of a dog. I know that it's way much more, but I'm just saying. I would be more enthralled with the idea of having a kid if I didn't have to sacrifice my body and my pain threshold. And if I am gonna sacrifice my body and my pain threshold in my life, it got to be with somebody that think I'm Beyonce because I am to you. Do you know what I've done for you? I'm definitely irreplaceable. What the hell are you talking about? All right, y'all. It's time to try our Kevin's out. And then I forgot my lazy tail. Kevin's can't be warmed up either. I definitely forgot you got to pan cook this. Look at this sauce. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I had a yogurt um, in between the time... What did I eat with y'all? Like the tacos. I made 115 grams of protein. 
after my dinner i know i'm about to eat more than 15 grams what's up she's in that thing this was the best thing ever so i want to cook i'm gonna cook this chicken in the same skillet that i made my pork in which is okay but y'all know it still got a little bit of that sauce i don't care i don't care it's fine i'm not even gonna do that so skillet over medium high for one minute then add a teaspoon of oil we're not gonna do that i'm just gonna spray it it's totally fine um and then break chicken scissors apart by massaging i already did that cut open pouch thoroughly drained chicken broth discard add, after you add chicken to hot skillet separate it uh, okay so after it cooks for a minute then we add the sauce cool simple enough Y'all see that red? Ain't nothing wrong with a little seasoning. Stop playing. A little seasoning left over from the pork. Yeah, this does not look appeasing. <laughs> but hopefully it tastes good. Um, I've never had Thai style coconut chicken, so not sure what it's supposed to taste like. The sauce smells really good though. Yeah, that does not look good. I ain't gonna hold y'all. <laughs> it smells good, but it does not look good. Y'all, I don't know why this was missing like that. It's not gross or anything, but I can't get on here and holler and tell y'all how good it is. It's fine. It looks like chicken and dumplings without the dumplings. I will say that coconut rice, kind of like I knew, and that sauce, it really brings each other like it's, you can taste the sweetness. If you are gonna get it, I recommend you getting the coconut rice. Preferably the um Uncle B's, cause theirs is actually made with coconut cream. Cause I have another coconut rice in there and it doesn't have coconut cream, it's got coconut flavoring. It's good with the coconut rice. You can really taste like the sweetness of the coconut. I would give it on a scale of one to 10, a seven and a half. And it would be even better like if you had some garlic naan from Trader Joe's, slap. But that concludes our daily vlog. I hope y'all like kicking it with me today. Um, I used my 32 gig memory card and we have 14 minutes left. So I feel like I got some good content in, you know, lengthy enough. Tell me what you think. What you think or just like filming in a day good. I know y'all like when there's a lot going on because it's like t today was kind of cut and dry. But anyway, if you still here, thank you for kicking it with me. I'll holla.